Steve Scalusia here, bringing you another episode of Kingdoms and Castles, and picking up right where we left off from the last episode. If you're new to the series, I highly recommend you go back and watch the first two episodes. This is a brand new game. I want you to just kind of experience the growth of the game, like as it goes along. So first, let's see what these people have to say. Food stores are running low. Some quarries have no place to store their stone. Oh, wow. We actually have, like, 81 stone now. We should probably... Okay. I'm going to fire this guy really quick. Hold on. Okay. We're going to close the charcoal maker because we're up to 20 charcoal. Like, it seems like we're getting excessive amount of charcoal. And Oh, God. There's a fire. No, not the treasury. Is the well close enough? Oh, God. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. What do I do? What do I do? It was so expensive. That was a really expensive building, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. They've got water. It looks like they're getting it, like, from the, like, actual, like, water. Like, they came from over here. Oh, my God. No! Oh, man. Wow. Oh, my gold was in there. Like, it's all gone. That cost... 50 stone. Oh, man. They tried fighting it, too. They tried, and they just couldn't get to it in time. Wow. Man, I just started saving up money. I didn't even use any of my gold yet for anything. Like, I hadn't actually gotten around to, like, using the gold to get, like, more advanced buildings that require gold. Oh, that's brutal. Okay, well, I didn't realize how that was going to be a problem, obviously. So, the well... Besides providing happiness, obviously also provides water for fires. You can see the outline of it. Like, it's pretty far away from the keep itself. So we should probably put a well over here so that there's something over here to help fight fires and stuff like that. So let's go ahead. I think what I'm actually going to do, let's build a road right there. Let's get a little bit farther down. And then let's put the well, like, here. I don't want it too close to the keep because I want to be able to build around the keep but i definitely feel like we should have a well close to the keep so we'll put that there that's so devastating that's so devastating holy krizzle why are we like out of food okay let's open this up how many people do i have it's only 26 i've only gained one person how did we lose so much food okay well, hopefully nobody dies because like we've completely run out of food i mean they should be harvesting soon there we go I do like how they can put it right into there now because, like, it, it gets stored a lot faster and then it gets removed and puts into the house. So it, it just, the whole thing of like moving food is a lot faster. Yeah, happiness flew upwards because they're no longer being taxed. <laughs> that sucks, dude. Okay, so we're going to have to completely rebuild that. We lost all of our gold. Of all the buildings I could have burned down, like, besides the keep, like, that was the worst. Like, it was the only building that was, like, out of range, really, of the well. And, like I said, like, I just wasn't even thinking about that fact. It's kind of funny, though, because, like, I start off the video and I'm talking about how I have nowhere to store all my stone. And, like, yeah, I could build more storage for the stone, but, like, I also... I also wanted to, like, just use the stone up to build something cool, which is why I turned off the charcoal place so that we were gathering more wood or whatever. But I definitely didn't want it to go down like that. I definitely didn't want to have to... The reason I need more stone is because everything burned to the ground. All that gold. It was just... It was so much gold. It was all the gold I had so far. Like I said, I didn't get to spend any of it yet because I was still, like, saving up other stuff to build, you know, something. Ah, oh, man. That is just such a bomber. Oh, well. That's why we're playing this series. Like, you know, it, there's no tutorial, which I actually, I still, like, I really like that. There's no tutorial, really. And they really just kind of throw you in there. So it's, it is a lot of fun to just, like, really just try to figure this all out and say, like, okay, like, what, how does this game work? And that's all part of it. Like, I'm, I don't know, you know, exactly how all of this works. I'm just slowly, you know, working on figuring out as time goes on kind of thing and live and learn make sure that you have wells to put out fires especially around really important buildings that are like attached to your keep this guy is always like oh the food blah, blah, blah. but it's like the farms are about to finish and then we should be good we are slowly gaining more and more population though so we're about to max out actually i've got 32 beds oh there we go five people visited but only three found satisfactory homes i maxed out on people once again which is exciting we're growing 
probably means I'm going to want to get more food, though. Like, another farm. This guy, I... Pfft. I, I'm getting tired of the the food advisor though. Like he's constantly telling me about the food situation. It's like I get it. Well, we have tons of wood now, which is nice. Um, treasury is back and running, so I'm gonna put that back to two gold, which is what it was before. Happiness is way up to ninety, so we'll see how low it dips now that they're being taxed again. Let's think about what we want next. I'm pretty sure happiness is not gonna dip down like crazy low, so I'm not gonna worry about happiness related buildings right now. Um, let's see. Oh, the nicer homes yield more tax revenue, which totally makes sense. Absolutely makes more sense. And it costs gold to build it, but then you're going to get more taxes in the long run. So I, I feel that. That makes sense. Huh. I could try the the baker. How big is the baker building? See, I was thinking about putting it here since I can't put a farm on those two tiles because they're not fertile enough. So it kind of makes sense to put it right next to the farms and the storehouses. Ugh, more flooding. Again with the flooding. All right, I'm going to go ahead and build the baker because I feel like that's like a nicer food. So, like, people will like that. How are we doing on those roads? Doing good. A tree is in the way, though. Where would that come from? I thought I chopped all the trees. Do they keep growing? Like, do they regrow eventually? He keeps telling me to build a tavern, but... I feel like the people aren't too sad. Even with the taxes. I think as long as we're in the s above like 60, 65, I feel like we're okay. Obviously, I'm basing that off of nothing. But I also feel like I'm going to have to turn this back on. Because we're down to 5 charcoal. We only lost one farm that flow. Oh, no, we lost two. Damn. All right. Well... I have one more spot to build a farm at, and then I'm going to put the windmill right in the center, and the windmill is going to make it produce more, so. Year 20, look at that. That's a milestone, I guess. I don't really know what it takes to get to the 20th year, but we had some hiccups. Earlier episode, if you missed it, like, we did have a dragon come visit us, but he didn't actually attack anything. We got really lucky with that. And I'm not going to bank on the fact that we're going to keep getting lucky. Like, I really feel like I need to invest in some defenses sometime in the near future let's go ahead and chop down all these trees by the road here i should really keep like a steady flow of like wood chopping going on because as long as i'm running the charcoal making thing like and i'm trying to build like literally anything i run out of wood pretty quickly this dude is always complaining about the food supplies man it is mad low like i'm right there with him i agree in fact i'm probably gonna build another uh farm here soon i feel like i need more people though i don't have enough people to run all this crap let's do that let's worry about a house first so that we have more people get another cottage going here um biggity bam yeah see like i'm really low on people right now i finished the bakery so like there's people working in there and i just feel like there's no one left to do anything like is anyone even going to be no there's literally no one that can build on that and I can't stop the charcoal guy because we're out of charcoal now. Like, I let that get too carried away. I shouldn't have let it get below 10 because it was up to 20. So, like, I turned it off for, like, a little bit. But it definitely got way too low, like, real quick. I feel like maybe when the winter is coming now, like, the farmers won't be doing anything. And they'll be able to, like, build the house up really quick. And then we'll be good. The gold's coming back pretty quick. We're already back up to 40. That's nice. So disappointing that I lost all that, you know? This rock right here really bothers me. Like, I want my road to go, like, straight down. And it's just, like, right in the way. That's probably the first rock I destroy when I get around to it. Nobody wants to live in our kingdom. Well, that's... That's upsetting. Oh, our happiness dropped down to 54. Holy hell. I actually didn't even notice that. I, I, I thought the bakery was going to make people a little bit happier. Because they, like, have... It's not just, like, the wheat. Like, they have, like, bread to eat. Oh, that explains why my charcoal went down so fast, too. Because the baker is using charcoal. Damn, I didn't even think about that. All right. So I definitely need to leave him running 24-7 now. I can't fire him anytime soon. <sighs> Food stores are getting low. As you can see. I really don't want to build another farm, though. I'd rather just build the windmill, I think. Um, I need more wood. 
Look at all this wood just sitting out here. See, we just don't have... There's all this wood sitting out here. They're chopping trees. I just don't have enough workers. Hopefully, when this house finishes, some more people move in. Ooh, happiness jumped up. All right, so the food stores are still low. That's still an ongoing issue. I mean, like, winter's here now, and food stores are already down to 31. That's pretty low. Um, happiness is, like, faltering. It keeps going up and down, up and down. I think... We really just need to build a windmill, and then things will get a lot better. Let's, yeah, let's have it facing that way, I guess. So the windmill makes the farms produce more, and then I can always put another farm there. But, yeah, that way I feel like we're going to be a lot better off, and then more people are going to start moving in. Because I, I built this house, and no one has moved into it yet. I think it's because, you know, the happiness situation, like it's an undesirable place to live right now, and i got to raise it. Which shows me that I do need to keep it pretty much, like, above 65. Like, if my happiness is below 65, like, people aren't moving in. People aren't really happy about this, you know, the way things are going. So, need to do that. Let's get rid of all the trees around this rock. Because I'm going to start working in this area soon. Oop. We have no place to store stone. Well, uh, where do we store? It's probably on an industry, yeah. Stockpile? Yeah, it's probably the stockpile. Is, well, I can make a small stockpile. Just put it, like, right next to the quarry. I should probably put it, like, on this side of the quarry, though. Because I'm going to eventually build more downwards and, like, have another quarry, like, down here probably at this other rock or something. Right? So then, like, there's a place to store it. Let's do that. Let's... Whoops. Ah, oh, roads are just out of range. Let me see if I can do it if I build one more road. Because I can't go any farther than that. I hit that stupid rock. Yeah, see, like, food is, like, empty. So happiness got up to 66, but we're out of food. And see how the happiness is going back down again? Like, we're getting food now, obviously. They're harvesting all the crops. And the, none of them flooded, thank God. So we're pretty good. But still... Not quite enough. Not if we're going to start growing, which hopefully we do, like, really soon. The bakery didn't seem to have as much of an effect on people as I thought it would. I figured they'd be happier with the bread, but my happiness is still kind of faltering. I'm up to 82 gold. I should really think about using that gold and building something with it since I lost it all last time. Hopefully I don't lose it again. I have a well now for finding fires, but still... I'm kind of stuck right now where, like, I don't really have anyone available to, like, do anything. And I need to raise my happiness. So I need to build a couple different things to do that. But, like, I can't do that until I get more people without shutting down some buildings. And I really don't want to shut anything down right now. Like, this has a couple of builders, but it's taking a long time to build. After that, I have a road that I need to build. And then after that, I need to build some kind of, like happiness related building i'm probably gonna build a tavern yeah see he keeps saying i should build a tavern probably gonna do that hey look at that it looks like the windmill finished building right before they harvested and immediately instead of getting plus 10 like a bunch of plus 10s popping up it was a plus 13 so it looks like it actually finished building right before the farms were done and it had an immediate effect on them which is awesome. So, like, we're already getting more food than we normally would. Because, like, look at my food stores. Like, that's already more than it would have been. So, that paid off. And it looks nice. It's just a nice looking building. So, that was done. This road is done. Um, I'm going to see if I can build a small stockpile. So that they stop complaining about that. But there you go. So, not a bad day today. Like, it started off on a hitch for sure. That was really scary. But we bounced back from it, finished the windmill, and we've got a nice little bakery. And they're going to be building a stockpile over there, which is nice. And then, yeah, I feel like I'm definitely making my way. I'm trying to figure out what I should build next. Because I can build a lot of different stuff. I feel like an archer tower might be kind of cool in case the dragon comes by again. It looks like that is like a topper. So, like, if I build this, if I build a couple of these castle blocks and, like, go up, 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 and then put this on top, then I'll have that archer tower. And that way, if the dragon comes by, like, hopefully that doesn't mess with me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it goes. I don't mean, do I even, like, is it, does it even matter if I don't have archers? Maybe I need to build a barracks first? It's a lot of resources to build a barracks, though. I don't know. 
Like I said, there's no tutorial. I'm just jumping into this. We'll see. There it is. There's a stockpile. Nice. All right. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. I appreciate the view and support as always. And I will see each and every one of you on the next episode. Later.